Hey, hello peeps. I am 1111 code. Well, I just want to do a short video really on these hermetics, the seven principles. I mean, because really it's a really deep study. You know, I've been studying hermetics now for over two years each principle. You know, you, it feels to me that when you do, say you start out at mentalism and then you work your way through you will come to realization that each one is say vibration then well you'll have to incorporate the other principles in the vibration as well and I just wanted to point out really whether you're aware of this or not this is what I feel that the chakras are related to the seven principles maybe in the order which I've put them in you know I do feel that a lot if you feel that because if you've been studying emetics or if you haven't been studying emetics I'll give a brief little rundown on what they mean if we look at the first principle mentalism it's all about the universe and your mind and everything is mental so really you've got to get your mind right before you can do the rest if you like with your body yourself or thereafter, you know, and a, and a mentalism is like a lot of self-realization there about yourself and how separate the planes are, there's different planes of existence, you know, without going too deep into it, you know, they're, they're in layers, I would say, same as the next principle, the correspondence, to me there, it's the same, like you're connecting with the universe on other levels. Same and with nature, that comes into that principle as well. And I like the principle of vibration. Most people are aware of this principle. You know, it's do lot to do with your feelings and your emotions, where you're gonna put them, where you're gonna activate them. That decide a lot of your vibration. You know, there's layers and layers of this stuff. You know, this is why this is like a short video, really. It's like the fourth one down polarity, you know, I've just done a video about duality to leave that to get into the polarity, you know, because I feel it is in the heart, and that's why it marries up with the heart chakra, and that's obviously about being in the centre of the polarity, you know, you're unifying the fields, you know, that's how I see it, same with chakra five, the rhythm, that's the rhythm. And when I feel I'm getting my rhythm, I'm getting synchronicities. You know, my frequency and my energy is showing me synchronicities. And that's what's to do with my rhythm. And that's your solar plexus. Same as cause and effect. That's the sixth principle. A lot of people will see that as law of attraction. You know, I see it as yes, we can create our own reality. You know, a lot of times we're just the effect of the reality we're living in. We're effect with the effect of it, the product, you know, we want to be the cause, then you will see the effect, and the seventh principle is gender, you know, and that relates to the root chakra, mm -hmm. and gender is yes, male and female, but it's a lot deeper than that, you know, you're trying to like, be one with that, because that's like, duality isn't it, gender in a way, you know, you want to be both. That's marrying up the both hemispheres of the brain, which mentalism will point that out to you. So that's why you know genders in mentalism, you know, it all co correlates to each other. Same as like the chakra system. If you know anything about the chakras, I'll give you my little interpretation of them. You know, like the crown chakra, that's in your <coughs> skull. You know, it's the highest one, top of your head. And what's that? That's like mentalism. That's your mind. You open that up, then yeah, I feel you get more knowledge and wisdom. And then the next chakra down is the third eye. And the third eye, I see that as yeah, you're seeing things different. You're seeing through the veil, you know. You're seeing through others, seeing their, we're well, just seeing it, you know, seeing their heart. You know, that's the third eye chakra opening. And that's part of the corresponding with the universe. Same as your vibration there, it's in your throat, throat chakra, that's your word, that's your speech, 
you know, and that it, that will determine a lot of your vibration as well at the same time. So I see things and and the sound, a lot of sound there. That's where sound comes from. The voice creates sound. Then you go down into the heart, the heart chakra, and that will be in the centre. That's the number six. It's in the centre. There's three above, three below, three above, <coughs> as above, so below. There it is, right there. It's polarity in the Hermetic principle. And yeah, that's where you want to be, don't you? In your heart, that's where your love is. That's where the balance is. That's where Earth is. You can ground yourself even with the heart, see? And the next one down, yeah, the solar plexus. That's where I feel you get your energy from. Is that a positive energy or a negative energy? Or both? You know, maybe it's the rhythm you set. So... What, what rhythm, what frequency, is that a positive, negative, you know? You'll know in your mind and you'll know in your heart what sort of energies you're receiving. And then the sacral, the next one down. For me, that's my, ini that's, I was going to say initiation, <laughs> that's my um, intuition. That's where I get my knowing from as well, in my solar plexus, I mean, sorry, in my sacrum sacral and that's like if you feel that it's coming something's coming it's never wrong down there when I get that feeling and maybe that's like cause and effect the cause was the feeling and the effect is the outcome what you see sometimes you can see it through there you know if you get a feeling there you'll see it there or maybe it'll go to the crown you know you feel it in your heart and then the final chakra would be the root chakra, you know, the genital area, the sexual organs, you know. You got um, you haven't got to, but it'd be a good practice to um, look at that energy, centre that energy down there, because you know if you are in love with someone and you're connected with a heart, you know it'd be divine if you can connect with a mind as well, wouldn't it? That'd be the three, the six, and the nine. It's like a figure eight. The abundant eight. So yeah, I just thought I'd share my um, little interpretation of a few things. If you work on this like this, what I've been trying to do, you know, it puts you in a happy place anyway. Put it that way. I'm happy. I'm in the centre. That's where I'm going to be. And one other thing I will disclose: I do listen to the Emerald Tablets. I mean, that's good practice as well. But anyway, as always, I love you all, and I am 1111 Code, and have a beautiful day. And thank you for listening. <laughs>